Um, hey, uh, what up, Council? My name is Chad Kroger. First, I just want to say I'm truly honored to be here. Uh, to be in a city where you can have a surf session and then go to a city council meeting within the span of an hour, I think that just shows that the American dream is still very much alive. So thank you. All right, to the serious stuff. I, uh, I stand before you here today in the midst of gnarly times. I'm a freelance journalist, and after interviewing hundreds of people, I've witnessed firsthand the ever-growing divide between Americans and families torn apart over political differences. It's in times like these we need a unifying figure we can all turn to, a beacon of headlights that can guide us down the dusty road. I was 11 years old when my first love, Ashley, betrayed me by moving to Newport Beach. <laughs> I felt lost, alone, bummed. And it was in that melancholy that my dad took me to see The Fast and the Furious, where for an hour and 47 minutes, I transcended my worries because I had just met my new hero, Paul Walker. Afterwards, at Carl's Jr., I thought about what Paul taught me. I think the most inspiring thing was the fact that even after Dominic Toretto beat him in that first race, Paul still managed to bed his sister. Pretty inspiring. And another thing is the fact that he still saved Vince, even though Vince was flexing on him the entire movie and questioned his love for tuna sandwiches, um, which I think is a true testament to his character. And I just want to go off book here. You know, it wasn't just Fast and the Furious. He inspired me in a ton of other movies as well. Uh, Skulls, Meet the Deedles, Eight Below, Into the Blue, Varsity Blues, just to name a few, and that rhymes. Paul's on-screen legacy was unfortunately cut short. But that does not mean his impact on society must be cut short as well. Detroit has the RoboCop. Philly has Rocky. We need... Paul Walker. That is why I'm proposing that the city erect a 12 foot tall steel statue of Paul Walker on the pier. And I'm also proposing that it be sculpted by none other than Damien Ortega, best known for his installation of White Cube 2003. Uh, the new Fast and the Furious is fast approaching. It comes out next month. And so we don't have much time. Um, so I'm just going to ask you guys straight up, how can we get started? When can we break ground? Do you have any comments? All right, I'll, I'll let you guys think about that. Yeah, Thank well, you so much. Let me, let me, here, I'll think about it. Just real quick, uh, Bacon, just curious on the messaging. Is that in support oh. of the Paul Walker initiative, or is that oh, totally it's unrelated? It's just my favorite hat. Bacon's just awesome. Yeah. yeah. Which I completely agree with. Does Paul Walker have any tie whatsoever to our city in any regard? He went to high school here. Yeah. His cousin went to high school here. Oh, his cousin did? His cousin. Uh, I'm a well. big fan of Paul Walker. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But no. <laughs> Sorry, bro. All right. Also, I don't think we have what any statues what, we don't have on any the statues pier, right? Of anybody going around yeah. here. But what, Although I love the, the affection, it's, there's obviously yeah. deep well of affection for Mr. Walker. Yeah. I you know. Know. I no, I, yeah. your, your point is we need an inspiring figure, and that's a very powerful message. Yeah. Thank so, you. Someone that. who can yeah. help. Yes, it is. Very powerful. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, next speaker is uh, Bodie Johnson. Anthony Lafrano and Jennifer Massey. Hello, Council. Um, I'm really nervous. Uh, I haven't spoken public since my stepmom's funeral. My name is Bodie. I'm also a freelance journalist. 2017 has been a bummer year so far. You probably can't tell by looking at me, but I'm a laid-back dude, and everyone has just been so steamed lately. Well, I'm PO2, because we're all just running around being literally non-unified. It's in times like these that we need a unifying figure we can all turn to, a beacon of headlights that can guide us down a dusty road. Sorry, Chad, I stole that from your speech, but it was good. We've, we've been to all the council hangouts all over SoCal trying to build the statue. 
Watching that movie was epically life-changing. It gave me the courage to ask out Shelby. It taught me to never back down, even if a super tough crew of street racers come at you. Stand tall. I'm pretty sure Paul's cousin went to San Clemente High School for at least a couple semesters, and Paul's spirit encompass, encompasses what this town is all about, which is why I'm here before you today. The thing is, though, I'm really busy right now. I'm taking a couple junior college classes, and I don't have time to be driving all over fighting for statues. It says on my shirt, when you put goodwill out there, it's amazing. It's a, what can be accomplished by Paul Walker. So let's accomplish this. Let's do the right thing. And we even have a visual aid of what we think the statue should look like. Yeah. Is that Chris Ham? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Chris Ham? Uh, exactly. Who? <laughs> That's exactly my point. It's right? P Dubs. My boy Walker and anyway, thank you. Adjourn. Um, I like that. That's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jennifer Massey.